everyone. So a few months ago, I applied for a grant in hopes of getting some devices that we can use to explore math and science, art and technology. And something great happened. We won. What do we have here? Congratulations. We have some surprises from my class needs. So it's red, look on there. My name's Curtis Weeb. I'm a grade six, seven teacher here at Crescent Park Elementary in Surrey, BC. I'm not one to kind of teach out of the textbook. And uh, so I really enjoy when we have devices uh, like this. That's the one, go allow and go plus. For me, when I um, see them learning and taking things apart and understanding how things work, that's, uh, that's real learning. <laughs> Yeah, it's a square. <laughs> you did it! Okay. Curtis Weeb applied for a classroom grant through a Toronto-based registered charity called My Class Needs. His $1,000 worth of robotics equipment was hand-delivered to his classroom by the charity's development officer, Nicole Beatty. My Class Needs is a young charity. We're heading into our fifth year of operations. Um, in that time, we have been able to support teachers like Curtis um, over 8,000 times. You know, we've raised close to $2 million to support classrooms in needs. Hi, Amy. We're doing some VR. <laughs> My Class Needs was launched in 2012 by former public school teacher Amy Kupal. We saw that there was an increasing need on the part of teachers to bridge the gap between the vision that they had in their classrooms for their students and the resources that they needed. It operates a crowdfunding platform connecting public school K-12 teachers with donors interested in contributing to their classroom projects. The charity also raises money through partnerships with corporations like RBC, Best Buy, TELUS, and Chevron. Kupal says My Class Needs acts as the buffer between the classrooms and the companies. Our role is really to work with the teachers who have those amazing project ideas and to take that corporate funding and apply it to the projects that the teachers have so that when their project gets funded, what they get is a box of whatever they've asked for at their school and the focus is really on the teachers and the students in their learning. So that's where we really come in as being the intermediary matching those funds with those classroom projects. It's the thin edge of the wedge of privatization. There's no other way to put it. But bringing corporate money into classrooms in this way is troubling for critics like former B.C. Provincial Parent Advisory Council leader and public health expert Farah Shroff. Once we start seeking private funding for what should be completely, 100% publicly funded, we move down the slippery slope. Shroff says this fundraising model takes responsibility off governments to fund public schools properly. So when a teacher very uh, passionately says, my children need more resources in this classroom, and so I'm going to take the resources from wherever those resources come, they're making a pragmatic decision to be able to do their job better. In the longer term and in the bigger picture, those kinds of decisions slowly lead us to make very dangerous decisions about our education. My class needs biggest impact so far has been in British Columbia. According to the latest Available Statistics Canada numbers, BC ranks lowest in Canada in terms of funding per student. So when My Class Needs and Chevron began a four-year, STEM-focused Fuel Your School program in 2013, it was a hit. It raised $1.8 million for BC schools and made My Class Needs a go-to for thousands of teachers. But for BC's teachers' union, targeting individual teachers and classrooms in this way doesn't solve funding gaps. If you have a company um, saying, you know, hey, We'll fund your classroom, um, make your best pitch, 
and we'll help you out. And, and, and then that's done. But that's one classroom in one school around the province. And uh, you know, hooray for those students and for that teacher who desperately needs the tools to do their jobs. But we also have all the other classrooms and schools around the province um, that desperately also need modern equipment, well-staffed schools, um, qualified certified teachers in all of them, making sure that there's fine arts opportunities, uh, tech ed equipment that's modern and workable. The Chevron My Class Needs Partnership re-energized the debate over how teachers like Curtis Weeb should be getting their classroom needs met. Vancouver School Board rejected the funding, but the Surrey Board, BC's largest, embraced it. Our board's approach is, is that why close that door? Uh, there are people and there are businesses, entities, enterprises that want to support public education. And the, our board believes that's a good thing. My Class Needs only approves classroom projects that meet school board regulations, which include a ban on any funding that comes with branding or logos in the classroom. As long as that's the case, for Surrey School Board and others in BC, bringing in corporate funding is a logical and pragmatic decision. Now, if, if, if the argument is that uh, the, the provincial government uh, should fund all of that, that's great. Um, let's do that. That's something for society to decide uh, how much they want to put into education as it is with health care, highways and the whole bit. The funding for core curriculum is, is there and uh, if we have people from the community saying we want to support education, uh, can we do that? I don't know any entity that would say, we don't want your resources, we don't want your support. If you like music, you can program it. For teachers like Curtis Weeb, who have realized their classroom ambitions because of my class needs, the debate is one for policymakers. I'm always looking for, for help and how I can differentiate the learning in my classroom. Um, and if there, I don't need to have any corporate banners up, awesome and um, I don't think we should have uh, you know it lets us keep the learning what it is and keep the devices um, where they need to be in the hands of students. I'm coding the little dash guide. It's very high tech. I enjoy it a lot. It's teaching me how to do different things on coding like for them to turn like at a 90 degree angle or for them to look a certain way. You just learn new things and it's really awesome. At the end of the day, you're going to do what you have to do as a teacher to get the resources, to get to make sure that there's time, that there's attention, and that there's really great learning taking place in your classroom. And I think that's what every teacher strives for. No matter what policies are in place, what regulations are in place, you're going to do what is best for your classroom and for your kids.